right, man. Anderson Silva said he got KO'd and sparring a couple times. You know, he like 80,000 years old. He'd be fighting Jake Paul Saturday. I can care less. But I find it interesting. It's always some bull job going on with Jake Paul fights. And it's just entertainment. I wouldn't be surprised if they had some type of disclosure that this shit was set up to protect Showtime or some stuff like that. But Showtime is turning, it turned into a clown show. That's what it's turning around. It was always little brother, little sister to uh, HBO. You know, but at least they had some good fights before Al Heyman came. You know what I'm saying? Um, they had Timothy Bradley. Um, Lamont Peterson was a great fight. Kendall Hawk. Timothy Bradley. I mean, you just keep going on. They had some Tyson fights here and there. Um, they had some really, really solid, you know, content. Even, even back then. You know, um, the show box is still pretty. I don't watch it no more, so I couldn't tell you. I just don't. I'm mean, just you losing the feeling to watch box gym and I hoop. So you gonna let them Earl sexuals run you out of boxing? I ain't never about nobody running nobody out of boxing, dude. I just don't like doing it no more. It's getting to the point where it's starting to feel like a job or like a drag. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's starting to feel. It's somewhere. It's going nowhere fast. But uh, even if everybody's seen the light, it's still a drag. There's nothing to talk about. I don't care less about Lomachenko. I don't care less about Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. Period. But nonetheless, he said he got KO'd and then twice, and then they opened an investigation. Then he said it was a joke. Now, I guess because of his age and his lack of boxing experience, even though he has a couple fights uh, early in his career, and then, you know, he looked good beating up Julio Cesar Chavez. Uh, junior or whatever um, You know because his age Whatever so I don't even they fight in Arizona or whatever But um I mean it's Just always some fishy shit Going around Jake Paul Fights Always It's just always Something fishy going, going around With Jake Paul fights it, it never fails. It's always something fishy. You know, with the whole scene, right, my thing, he ended up making the weight. You know, the Ben Askren thing and the Nate Robinson thing. And, you know, I don't invest into it. The Tyron Woodley thing being the biggest thing. His mama and his other, his mama celebrating and knockout. Like, dude, I wouldn't invest my time in this shit. You know? And this is what Showtime is, is is putting on, rather than putting on Spence and Crawford. Now get to Espinosa if y'all ain't seen it. I don't know what succession I'm putting these videos up, but you know it is what it is. So you know what time it is. Now I think he said he don't plan to retire after this neither. So you know, and that's why Deontay Wilder said the only way to sustain in this sport is to is to uh, is to invest. That's the only way, and that's the only way for everybody. You got to invest. You know, that you got a better chance in investing in in, 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 in sewing up retirement, even getting rich than hitting a lot of. Because all they take is one good, you know, investment to become rich and become wealthy, or even retire altogether. It's people that didn't retire off penny stocks. And all the information is out there. You just got to treat it like you got to just take it. I would just say take a class. Now you got some people say, well, the only way you can learn is just by going in and doing it, man. You don't never go in nothing blind. Never. But with Silva, you know, if he go in there, BJ Paul, so be. I just don't care. You know, I find it funny how Arizona, oh, I can see if it was New York State Athletic Commission in Nevada. New York being one of the more sensitive, if not the most sensitive one, you know, and then he goes around saying, I'm just playing and, and just that. No, I don't know. Nobody play about getting knocked out and sparring. Now, maybe they trying to, like, tip the odds and get some money on Jake Paul. I can understand that. I definitely can understand that, but, I mean, there's always some fishy shit. This is strictly, w why don't he just go do WWE with his brother and wrestle Anderson Silver and WWE? That's what I don't understand. Why don't you just do, do WWE? 
this what this is is WWE man and you know and he ain't bringing no return neither dude he's stealing just like Al Heyman stealing figuratively though don't, don't mean literally F figuratively he's stealing too stealing y'all time stealing y'all money like Showtime just, just take all that money and invest it into the NFL NBA NHL baseball show documentaries and just be done with it that Hector Camacho documentary I didn't see the point guard New York Park documentary um, I'm, I'm gonna watch it though at some point but that Hector Camacho documentary is better than anything Showtime produced in boxing wise easy anything that Showtime produced boxing wise that Cam Hector Camacho documentary was better than that just get into doing documentaries and shit and just do Showbox. And the crazy thing about Showtime doing Showbox, they don't really never retain the talent. It's a farm system. The talent gets showcased. Oh, I didn't know about him. Let's sign him to top rank. Let's sign him to, to the zone or match room or golden boy. They, they have no retention rate. And out of all the fighters that they have, they really believed in what Al Heyman was doing. Why none of them ninjas got a network deal? Jake Paul got a network deal out of everybody, and his numbers ain't no different than everybody. Trust me. His numbers ain't no different. And if he clocking money, it's just because it's independent. Just like what Crawford doing with Black Prime, he getting the, the gate, you know, he getting the the, the 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 ticket, all that type of stuff. That's what he getting his money off of. Nobody care about that shit for real. At all. Why you care about that? You know, he was giving away tickets in his hometown. And he get in there with Silva. You know. And then Silva said, well, I got knocked out. Two times. Yeah, motherfucker, you a senior citizen. You an ARP fucking uh, member. Of course they gonna look into that. And now, not only they gonna look, in, they gonna look into that, and they gonna get paid to clear it. As soon as the little, trauma, little, little sign of trouble, trouble. So it's a, little, it's a little sign of trouble. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to stop the fight prematurely. Look at Evander Holyfield. Ain't no reason he should be in the ring versus Vitor Belfort. Belfort. No reason. None whatsoever. But he in the ring with Vitor Belfort, fuck. For no reason. So it don't surprise me. And at the end of the day, they're going to do it to protect him. And if he up and he beating Jake Paul, he take a shot and stumble. They're going to try to save Jake Paul. And they're going to try to talk about saving Anderson Silva. And that's going to factor into it. Trust me, that's going to factor into it. All right, see this play. And that Lomachenko fight don't interest me neither. They have a hell about no goddamn Jermaine or Ortiz. I'd rather see Victor Ortiz. They might as well just have canceled boxing for the fall. Shit, cancel that shit all together. Shit, make these niggas go get degrees and get nine to five. Walk at Walmart next to some of you niggas. Damn. They got a police shooting or some shit. They like police everywhere. Hmm. You don't get that much action over here in the suburbs. This ain't terrible, terrible. This is a where? Where was Huey and them? Huey and them from? I mean, where did Huey and them move to? I forget the name of the town, man. Crestwood. <laughs> <laughs> Crestwood or Woodcrest. I think it was Woodcrest. That's what it was. Woodcrest, Maryland. Uh, that's what it was. I believe it was Woodcrest. <laughs> Hilarious. But let the play already laid down. The chips are already laid down. You already know how they land and how they play in it. So, you know, stay woke, stay alert, keep your chart on alert, just like 9 11, like Jock said. But y'all already, already know their plans. They can't fool me. Steven Espinosa out here running a sham. That's why Conor McGregor called him a weasel. 
He's a weasel. He's a fucking weasel. He looks shysty too. I don't trust none of them white collar people, dude. At all. Look at the Bed Bath and Beyond cat. And jump from a hundred stories or something like that. Because he had a, a scam going on. I don't understand why people be like, they open. And then had an open sign on. And then they don't be open. But nonetheless, I want to make a left turn out of here. So I'm parking. That's all I got, man. Y'all know how I lay. I know why I stand at any, on it. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Demo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Demo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Peace.